Oh my god, another modern ban and restricted announcement that uh, the obvious Oko ban was imminent. Uh, Mycosynth Lattice, I guess, is debatable as well. But then they throw a bit of a curveball and they, uh, they ban Mox Opal. This is my Affinity deck there. I just took these out right now. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. It's kind of odd because Affinity was like one of the OG modern decks and it really just... I feel like this just epitomizes what I feel about what's going on right now. They're kind of killing modern, really trying to shift people over to Pioneer right now. It's a bit frustrating because luckily I didn't get these at the highest price point these were, but I mean they are like over $100 they were just recently. I bought them for about 60 each uh, a few years back and now they're banned. So they're probably going to go, my guess is around $50 or so, maybe it'll go less than that or it'll be more, but it's very frustrating because Modern is, uh, well it was a very expensive format, right now it's not looking so expensive. Um, a lot of bans happening that are affecting you know, the prices, but also the shifting uh, priority in where Wizards of the Coast is putting their uh, efforts into for pumping out Pioneer products. Um, you're looking at no modern support. And the closest thing we had to modern support recently was modern Horizons. So it's not looking good for modern right now. And, uh, and I don't know what to do about that. Uh, this is the second deck that I feel like was a casualty in the works from the banning restriction uh, announcements because a uh, hollow one was one of my favorite decks to play a completely fair deck um and it was casualties due to the faithless looting ban which is less than a year ago and now we have a uh, mox opal which is going to kill hardened scales and affinity so do you think i wanted to raise this question do you think that a banning is applicable all the time or do you think they should do something similar to protect price points on players who spend a lot of money on cards like the restrictions on certain cards like legacy and vintage what do you think about that do you think like if specific cards should they just be restricted to one or two copies in a deck to avoid a complete crash in potential price because i mean i know there are some people who purchased Mox Opal within the last year at one of its highest points, and they are hurting right now. Um, so it is really rough to, to just... It's just a really sinking feeling in your stomach when you spend a lot of money on a modern deck. And not only is it not being supported right now by Wizards, but also the bands will tank prices further. So I, I don't know. What do you guys think? The Oko band, do you think that that was... Eminent, the Mycosynth Lattice ban, do you think that that one was also fair? And the Mox Opal one, which is the one that I am definitely the most annoyed about. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think that the Mox Opal ban is worthy? Or do you think that it's just a casualty of a much bigger symptom right now, which is going on with Magic the Gathering? Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.